OS. So you know better way about uh, IO ports uh, towards your microcontroller uh, previous feature IO ports, right? So how these IO ports are supporting for your microcontroller which are applicable for accessing peripherals like uh, switches, displays, keypad. Uh, if you take anything, it will support for you. But coming to the other feature of microcontroller which is timers. So actually what is the importance of timers with your microcontroller? Uh, so these timers are going to generate accurate time delays based on your application requirement. Accurate time delays means like whenever you are looking for generating uh, if you want to do your operation between particular time to particular time okay so if you want to operate anything with the help of time based operations so you people have to know this timers feature with respect to microcontroller okay so how many timers with your microcontroller there is a two timers with your microcontroller and what are the names for these two timers t0 and t1 and what is the capacity of two timers within the 8051 microcontroller which is 16 bit so generally what is the meaning of timers and how the people will mention the capacities of timers with respect to bit size okay so generally if you go for normal microcontroller uh, whenever you want to mention time so our people will mention time in hours minutes seconds right but here the timers they are going to mention and they are going to give in bit wise so what way you people will generate these accurate time delays depends on this different capabilities like 16 bit 8 bit like to 32 bit like this okay so now your 8051 basic microcontroller which is providing two 16 bit timers so that means what is the meaning of that 16 bit timer and if you take a normal clock how it will give time for you like if i am telling uh, one minute or one hour suppose if i am tell telling one minute for you then uh, just you are going to observe your clock or your watch whether the second needle completes one complete cycle right so once your second needle completes one complete cycle then that is one minute time right so within this complete rotation of your second needle so what it is doing so just which is counting seconds one two three like this so once it will finish 16 uh, then which, which is meaning is what it will finish one minute time the same way your microcontroller timer also 16 bit and this 16 bit means here so which is also timer is going to work as, as a normal watch in our regular basis okay so coming to your microcontroller which is also going to rotate like this but which is also counting pulses here and here which is counting your seconds and here which is counting your pulses and what is the pulse period now here what is the duration of each count one second exactly right okay so for each count which is not changing every time so one two three like this for each and every pulse the fixed gap is one second but here how the microcontroller will start this counting process and what is the gap between count to count and that will depend on your crystal oscillator what you are connecting so that is the reason for your microcontroller purpose you people need this oscillations crystal oscillations compulsory okay so you people have to consider the frequency of oscillator okay so coming to your microcontroller crystal oscillator what is the frequency if it supports from 4 megahertz to 40 megahertz this is already you know and coming to your 8051 what is the crystal frequency which is supporting which you are using right now which is 11.0592 megahertz okay so this crystal frequency will play the main role between the duration to duration of pulse okay so and which is also going to count pulses like this how many pulses it will count for one complete rotation that will depends on the capacity of timer once i am telling 16 bit 16 bit means how many pulses it will count for one complete rotation 2 power 16 so 2 power 16 means what is the equivalent value of 2 power 16 here which is 65536 so once it start with 0 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 like this so what is the last pulse for your timer which is 65535 this is your decimal representation okay and what is the duration of each pulse that will depends on the crystal frequency here so for that you people have to know this clock period so the clock period which should be 12 divided by crystal frequency so what is the crystal frequency you are connecting with your microcontroller which is 11.0592 
and once you divide this 12 with crystal frequency then you will get the duration of each pulse so that is 12 divided by 11.05 into megahertz so which is 1.085 to microsecond so that means between pulse to pulse what is the exact time period i am getting here 1.0852 so by counting these pulses your microcontroller will generate your time delay so based on your requirement you people have to know how many pulses i have to count with the help of timer okay so this is the process you are going to work with your timers so which is similar to our normal watch and microcontroller timer okay so which is also going to generate generate the time with the help of counting seconds and here also we are going to provide the time delay requirement based on counting pulses okay and what is the duration of each pulse here which is 1.085 to microsecond and what is the duration of each pulse here which is 1 second okay so this time period how we are calculating that is depends on the crystal oscillator what you are connecting with the microcontroller okay so this 1.085 based on this number of pulses you people can gen generate whatever your delay requirement you can generate okay so for that you people have to find how many pulses i have to count so for that there is a formula number of pulses is equal to required time delay divided by constant time delay so for finding the each pulse period you have to go through this formula 12 divided by crystal frequency and once you got the free duration of each pulse and you people have to know this how many pulses i have to count for required time delay okay if i am telling one minute or one hour or one second okay so based on that you people have to know this number of pulses value okay suppose if i am telling one second time delay so how to calculate this number of pulses if i am telling one second time delay just generate one second time delay with the help of microcontroller timer so can you tell this uh, number of pulses for your device so number of pulses is required time delay is one one mic one second and what is your constant time delay of each pulse which is 1.0852 just divide with this thing which is in microseconds and which is in seconds so we cannot cancel directly so either you have to convert this one to microsecond or this one to seconds okay so just i am going to convert the upper value to microsecond so once you convert this one second to microsecond which will become so one lakh microseconds divided by 1.085 to microsecond okay so this is the mathematical calculation required whenever you are working with your timers okay so this is approximately 92147.5 something you will get so but make it a round value because you cannot count the pulses like 0 0.5 0 0.1 0 0.0 like this okay so you have to count 0 1 2 3 only so for that reason so if it is more than 0 0.5 just make it 92148 if it is below 0 0.5 just assume that 92147 pulses you have to count but what with the timer will count your pulses okay as a mathematical calculation once you have you know only up to 100 but i tell just count 150 what is your process to count 150 if you know only 100 so you people follow different methods like you can start with 1 to 0 1 to 100 and then you can count 1 to 50 then it will become totally 150 but the same operation if you are applying to microcontroller what what is the process so which is going to count this 150 pulses in different manners like uh, 75 into 2 times or 50 into 3 times okay so because i know the maximum value up to 65536 but if you required in lakhs or if you required more than this minimum value then you people have to go through this repetition process so this is the way you need whenever you are looking for timers operations you need this all mathematical calculations towards generate like uh, the based on the period of clock and based on the number of pulses okay thank you